often become confused on what to wear ethnic or western casual or formal dark color or light color in a word our desire to dress better to look better has no bound wearing old fashion clothes make you backdated and some people don't hesitate to backbite you on that this is not the end when it comes to gossiping about how others dress people tend to go an extra mile this is for muslims and this is for hindus this is for eid festival and that is for puja conversation of clothes and dresses are not going to end and it's not new either probably it started since when people started donning clothes hi guys welcome back to our channel today we will have a detailed study of evolution of clothing in bengal if you haven't subscribed to our channel let me remind you we publish interesting content regularly so don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any update The earliest description of dress can be found in Ramayana and Mahabharata. The scriptures give a vivid account of attires worn by Ram, Sita, Pancha Pandav and Draupadi. Who doesn't know about Dushashan's attempt to yank off Draupadi's clothing? However, human beings started wearing clothes long before than that. Approximately about 170,000 years ago. During Arya period people used the bark of a tree clothing prepared from the bark was called khoma then yarn dress started gaining popularity when silk farm began in Bengal and Magadha in around 300 to 400 AD but it was unstitched clothing because Indians didn't know tailoring until the Arabs introduced stitching instruments The culture of an Indian subcontinent including Bengal has been influenced by various civilizations that settled here and ruled the region for a certain period of time. For example, Mughal Empire left a deep impact in our costumes. Mughal clothing was characterized by luxurious styles and was made with muslin, silk, velvet and brocade. Elaborate patterns including dots, checks and waves were used with colors from various dyes. During pre-colonial era, traditional Bengali women seen wearing a single piece of clothing draped around their body without undergarments. Bengali men donning dhotis and lungis with no upper body garment. whereas the upper class used to wrap a piece of cloth known as chadar around their chest and they also used to wear turban or pagri we come to know the details from raja rammohan roy's commentary on the bengali of his times british raj brought with itself changing trend in wrapping the sari Earlier way of draping sari without blouse was seen as inappropriate so bengali women started wearing sari with a blouse or an undershirt or jama and petticoat or saya brahmika sari a sari which was common among brahmin women during that period brahmika sari was originally popularized by gyanada nandini tagore wife of satyendranath tagore Rural Bengal men can be seen wearing their authentic dhotis during British Raj. Dhoti was further popularized by zamindars and babus. From Bengali cinema to college going adults, dhoti and kurta was the most favorite attire for Bengal. From 1950 to 1980s new trends of wearing sarees emerged coupled with stockings short skirt like petticoat and shawl draped over the shoulders Bengali women started personalize the style of wearing sarees by pinning the anchal over the shoulder with the pin or brooch to secure it blouse with tight fitted sleeves up to wrist was also quite popular For men 
bellbird pants and the half sleeve shirts were the very much common during late 20th century another new trend started to emerge among bengali women to wear a mantilla which was most commonly of lace along with the sari as seen in the picture this trend was inspired by the european style of wrapping a mantilla over their heads by upper class british women as women started to go out and work another type of dress that has suited the bengali women due to its comfort and ease it's the salwar kameez mainly inspired by the mughals and pathans after 19th with the growing western tide bengali men and women started donning western clothes dhoti and saree started to become the reserved for occasions like pahela baishak saraswati puja or some family events like wedding only but the one thing that should not change in their fashion is their traditional attire men wearing kurta and dhoti women wearing the authentic white saree with red border wrapped in the old bengali style accessorized with gold ornaments the trademark shakha and pola that's all for today if you like this video don't forget to like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to reactor returns